Ida, died c. 559, is the first known king of the Anglian kingdom of Bernicia, which he ruled from around 547 until his death in 559. Little is known of his life or reign, but he was regarded as the founder of a line from which later Anglo-Saxon kings in this part of northern England and southern Scotland claimed descent. His descendants successfully fought off Britannic resistance and ultimately founded the powerful Kingdom of Northumbria. Sources The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle indicates that Ida's reign began in 547, and records him as the son of Appa, grandson of Asae, and great-grandson of Ingwi. Likewise, the Historia Britannum calls him as the son of Appa and the first king of Berniac or Bernicia. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle elaborates that he ruled for twelve years and built the Bernician capital of Bamberg Castle. Later, however, the Chronicle confuses his territory with the later Northumbria, saying that Ella, historically a king of Deira rather than Bernicia, succeeded him as king after his death. Northumbria did not exist until the union of Bernicia with the Kingdom of Deira. This happened for the first time under Rida's grandson Ethelfrith. The genealogies of the Anglo-Saxon kings attached to some manuscripts of the Historia Britannum give more information on Ida and his family. The text names Ida's one queen as Bernach and indicates that he had twelve sons. Several of these are named, and some of them are listed as kings. One of them, Theodric is noted for fighting against a Britannic coalition led by Urien Rudge and his sons. Some 18th and 19th century commentators, beginning with Lewis Morris, associated Ida with the figure of Welsh tradition known as Flamdwen, flame bearer. This Flamdwen was evidently an Anglo-Saxon leader opposed by Urien Rudge and his children, particularly his son Owain, who slew him. However, Rachel Bromwich notes that such an identification has little to back it. Other writers, such as Thomas Stevens and William Forbes Skeen, identify Flemdwen instead with Ida's son Theodric, noting the passages in the genealogies discussing Theodric's battles with Urien and his sons. At the time Ida ruled, Bernician control did not extend far inland from the coast. It was not until the time of Ethelfrith, Ida's grandson, that the kingdom expanded significantly to the west. This is supported by the Historia Britannum's description of fighting between Bernicians and the native Britons of the area, indicating ongoing resistance. It is also supported by the scarcity of 6th century Anglo Saxon archaeological finds from further inland.